Hey guys, my name is Angelina and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming a dance Q&A. This video was actually requested by Chloe. Shout out to Chloe. Thank you so much for suggesting this video idea. I've actually been wanting to film a Q&A for a very long time, but I wasn't able to get questions. But with all of the dance vlogs and dance videos that I've been uploading, I feel like a lot of you have questions and some of you have been commenting questions. So I decided to go ahead and use those questions I've already been asked and ask some more on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoy. Chloe asks, what is my favorite dance style? So I'm a ballroom dancer and there are four different categories of dance. There's international Latin, international ballroom, and there's American smooth and American rhythm. I have zero idea about American smooth and rhythm. Never tried it, never danced it, have seen people dance it, know vaguely what it is about, but I do not know a lot about it. I started doing international ballroom and Latin. Currently, I dance both, but I dance international international standard more seriously and I honestly enjoy international standard a lot more. For those of you who don't know, that's a style that includes dances like the waltz, the tango, the foxtrot, and the quick step, and the Venus waltz. When did I start dance and how long have I been dancing? I started dance summer after my sophomore year of high school when I was 15 years old, I believe. It is after I quit doing gymnastics and I ended up at my barn dance studio that I'm at. I have been dancing for a total of two years and three months. So I actually danced for a little over a year until I fell and I sprained my foot really, really badly. So I was out for four months and then I got back to dancing. Hannah asks, how do I manage to balance high school and dance so well? This is a really good question actually. And when I first started dancing and last year, this wasn't a big problem because I did not dance seriously and I you know, would do one, two lessons a week. So that would be like two hours a week of dancing, maybe even less. I still had a bunch of time to do other things. Currently with this year, um, I started dancing a lot more seriously and I am having a harder time keeping up with school. But my number one tip for you guys is organization. Just have a plan or have a calendar. Plan out your days time by time. Know when you need to have stuff done by. Know when you have other things that you need to do, other events that are going on. For example, if I know that I have a competition coming up, but I also know that I have a bunch of tests that same exact week, I will will already have that plan at least a month in advance, if not more, and be preparing myself mentally for that and emotionally and also talk to my teachers about it and let them know that I'll be gone and what I can do. Maybe I can take the test after, maybe I can take it before. If I'm taking it before, I'll just study for it a lot earlier than other people will. So yes, yeah, stay organized and just try and stress the least. Everything will be okay. Alyssa asks, what is the hardest part about dancing? I think that this is very individual. There are a lot of hardships that come with dancing. For example, one of them is it is a really expensive sport and paying for it is not an easy thing. For me, I think the hardest part is just stepping over this emotional boundary that I have. When I first started dancing, I was not very confident with myself. So I think the aspect of confidence in my craft and in my dancing is the hardest part about it just because it is such a competitive sport and there are so many other dancers that are a lot better than me and they are so much more excited experience than me that I really have a hard time stepping over this. But yeah, it's definitely this part of not being afraid to show how much I love it while I'm performing or competing. Alyssa also asks, why do you love it so much? I love it because it really makes me feel carefree. It makes me feel like a whole entire different person. I also really love competing as weird as it is, even though it can be nerve wracking at times. Most of the time I'm not nervous. I just love being out in the spotlight, I guess. I don't know. I'm not trying to be like, I don't know. I also just really love dancing to the music. Every single move that I do to the music, it just, inside of me, just things happen, like emotions happen. And it just makes me feel like I'm flying and I'm free and I'm obviously lacking vocabulary explaining this. But another part that I love about it is you can never be perfect at it. I mean, you can become really good at a certain part of dancing, but you will never become perfect. And this idea that you constantly have have to keep learning, constantly have to adapt yourself to, you know, your dance partner and the new move that you might be doing, maybe it's the music, you always have something to work on is what I really like, just because I kind of get bored really easily and this is something that I don't have a chance of getting bored with. Lydia asks, how are you so cute? Thanks Lydia, I... 
especially not when I'm dancing. I will gladly accept your compliment. Dawn asks, favorite dance style? As I've already talked about this, my favorite dance style is international ballroom, but in terms of my favorite dance that I have within that style, I would say Foxtrot is my number one favorite. Tango would be my number two. Number three would go Quick Step. Number four, Pew Waltz. And last, I have Vinny's Waltz because that is a deadly dance. Who or what inspires me to dance? Honestly, it's just the fact that I love it so much and how it makes me feel and because it's such just everything about it, the learning process, the different technique that goes into it, the partnership that exists within a ballroom dance couple, and the competition, including the preparation for it, like the hair, the makeup. I love all of that and I think that is what really makes me keep going and keep doing it. How did I meet my partner? Well, currently I have two dance partners. Uh, my international ballroom dance partner I just started dancing with in August of 2019. He has actually been dancing for 10, 11 years and I was looking for a uh, standard dance partner after I split with my previous partner and I actually accidentally had him help out at one of my private lessons and after he helped out ended up offering me to dance with him so hence we now dance together that is basically how we met because we were at the same dance studio we just never crossed paths and then you know he just came out to help with a lesson my latin dance partner though we have been going to the same school since the sixth grade so he bought him dance for like three four years and then he quit for a couple of years and then i contacted him asking him if he wanted to come back to dancing because i was looking for a partner and i was desperate uh, then he agreed and we started competing in latin together we just don't have lessons that regularly we have them once a week at most it's hard to fit both of our schedules on with our dance teacher's schedule so chloe asks why did you start competing and tips for anyone who has never competed but wants to in the future i started competing um just because my dance studio focuses on competitive ballroom dancing instead of uh, more of a social type of focus and the dance partner that i first got together with he has already been competing um as for tips if you have not competed but want to in the future i would say talk to your dance teachers uh ask around you can also use the ndc website or the usa dance website which are the two organizations that organize ballroom dance competitions and on their website they have a schedule of a bunch of different ballroom dance competitions that you can enter into there's local ones there's out-of-state ones so it depends where you live wow the lighting is getting very dark now i just have yellow light on the side of my face you know it's fine it works and if you've never competed before and you're nervous um, or you have any kind of doubts about whether or not you should compete, I say yes, compete no matter what level you are at, beginner, not beginner. It's just such a great and fun experience no matter what level you are. First of all, you get to feel just so proud of what you have accomplished as a dancer and I think that no matter how big or small the accomplishments are, they should all be celebrated and you should be able to share them with other people. So I say definitely compete. How did I get into ballroom? I got into ballroom because my mom signed up my little sister and my little sister signed up because my mom's friend um, had her daughter and after my sister danced for a couple of months another parent from the studio had a son who was dancing and he has been looking for a partner for a very long time and she kind of found out that my mom had an older daughter who was me she asked if I was interested in trying to dance it actually took me a while to start um, to have my first lesson after kind of this idea popped into my mom's head I was actually very very repellent to joining ballroom dance at the very beginning. When my mom came home to tell me that she had this idea, I was like, no, I'm not going to ballroom dance because I honestly thought that was so embarrassing because I was 15 and so old. I just, I was like, I'm gonna be so bad. I'm gonna either suck at dancing. I can't do this. This is not for me, but I'm very glad I joined and I'm very glad my mom had that idea and she kind of got me into it because it's honestly one of the most important things in my life right now. Somebody just ran the, ran the door yes, open, that's Anton. And the last question, Alyssa asks, who's your dancing idol? My dancing idol, that's a really good question. I kind of really look up to Mia Lena Holden. She is a 16-year-old girl who competes in international standard. She has been an under-21 champion for a very long time. Hello. Hey there. Oh, actually, this is my Latin Hello. dance partner. <laughs> What a coincidence, he just like, barges into my hat. 
Oh my god, thank you so much. I wouldn't call her an idol, but I think that she kind of inspires me in a way. She's also really good at makeup and she's was self-taught and she's been dancing for a very, very long time. And I just, I love her dance appearance at competitions. And also I think, why are you taking photos of me? Excuse me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and my answers were helpful and understandable. Thank you to everyone who asked me questions. If you guys want a part two of this, please make sure to comment down below. Also make sure to check out all of my other dance videos and comment any other video ideas that you might have or that you want to see from me and as always I will see you in my next video bye